Trace McSorley represented everything that was good about being a college football quarterback, and he was not a big time recruit and was honestly never really supposed to make it at Penn State. But he consistently proved people wrong with his will to win and his love for the game of football. McSorley holds numerous Penn State records, including most passing yards in a single season, most passing touchdowns in a single season, and most total yards of offense all time. He managed to make it to the NFL, but now he is known for something else besides football. He is TikTok famous. Personally, I see TikTok as a complete waste of time, but it makes for a good story, and today we will talk about the entire Trace McSorley football journey, his career at Penn State, and how he has become famous on social media. But first, you gotta stay until the end to find out how he got popular on there. Be sure to subscribe if you like college football, give the video a like, share it with your friends, comment your thoughts, suggest a future video topic, and stay until the end. And now let's get started with the incredible story of Trace McSorley. In order to understand how he became a star, we need to take a look back at his whole football story. Football ran in the family's blood, as his dad played for Richmond and his uncle played at Marshall. Trace always loved football from a young age, and when he was little, he'd have stacks of these composition books with football plays in them. His mom would help him go to bed, and he'd show her all these plays, and she'd be like, that's awesome, but she really didn't know what the heck he was talking about. People first noticed he was good when he was 8 years old. A former Washington Redskins linebacker was his trainer. And he said, I remember the first day I saw him, and I've always said this, when you're an athlete, you recognize him. He not only had athleticism, but also the internal drive as a young man. I think I immediately noticed this kid was going to be something special. He did become something special, and his talent was noticed immediate in high school. McSorley attended Briarwoods High School in Ashburn, Virginia from 2010 to 2014. He played high school football and would start as a freshman. His freshman year, he led the team to a 13-2 record in a state championship. Two seasons later, his junior year, he led the team to a 15-0 record and a third consecutive state title. He was always a winner, and while playing for Briarwoods in Northern Virginia, Trace led his team to four consecutive state championship appearances. Most colleges viewed him as a safety, though, since your typical blue-chip quarterback prospect doesn't check in at 6 foot 185 pounds. But Penn State's James Franklin, who had just left Vanderbilt to take the Penn State job, had a different perspective on him. Franklin was looking for a dual-threat guy capable of challenging a defense with his arm and his legs, not a 6 foot 4, 225 pound pocket passer like Christian Hackenberg was. Those guys typically have cement feet, a big no-no in today's game, he said. Initially, Penn State defensive coordinator Bob Shoup had his eyes on McSorley as a defensive back, but the offensive coordinator said he wanted Trace as a quarterback after watching him throw. Eventually, McSorley decided to flip his commitment from Vanderbilt to Penn State, and this was a game changer for the Lions, and he happily followed Franklin to Happy Valley. He was an underdog from the very beginning, and that showed with his recruiting ranking as well. According to 24-7 Sports, Trace was a three-star recruit, the number 15 dual threat quarterback, and the 571st best player in the class of 2014. He was going to be slept on, but Trace was going to emerge victorious. He came into Penn State and redshirted and was really never supposed to play. During McSorley's redshirt freshman year, he appeared in a total of six games, but five of them were in blowouts. He ended up coming in in the 2016 Tax Slayer Bowl when starter Christian Hackenberg went down with an injury. He came in when they were down 24-3 and nearly led a comeback. He finished the game 14-27 for 142 yards and two touchdowns, but Penn State fell short by one score. With the early departure of Hackenberg, it would be Trace versus Tommy Stevens for the starting job in 2016. Trace would win it in August and this dominance would start. He started his first career game against Kent State, and in his second game, he'd throw for 332 yards and a score in a loss to the rival Pitt. Later in the season when the Nittany Lions played Minnesota, he put up a career-high yardage numbers when he threw for 335 yards in the 29-26 overtime win. In a big game against Ohio State, he struggled to throw the ball accurately as he only completed 8 of 23 passes for 153 yards, however he did score two touchdowns, one passing and one rushing, and Penn State stunningly upsetted number 2 Ohio State by that blocked field goal. This helped bring the Penn State program back, and just a few weeks later against rival Michigan State, he threw for a career-high 376 yards and four touchdowns, and they clinched a spot in the Big Ten Championship game. He was named second-team All-Big Ten by the coaches and media, and in the third quarter in the Big Ten Championship game, McSorley broke the Penn State single-season record for passing yards and led Penn State to a comeback. He broke the record for passing yards in the Big Ten Championship game, and it was revealed that McSorley was even on multiple Heisman ballots some even as high as number two behind quarterback Lamar Jackson. He became the first Nittany Lion to be on a Heisman ballot in over 10 years. The Lions didn't make the playoffs, but they would play in the Rose Bowl where they lost a thriller to USC. He finished the year throwing for 3,614 yards, 29 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. As a sophomore, he'd have his first Heisman moment against Iowa as he threw a game-winning pass to Juwan Johnson on the last play of the game. 
Penn State got off to a 7-0 start and were legit national title contenders. They were ranked as high as number 2 in the country, and when they faced off against Ohio State, Saquon Barkley returned the opening kickoff and they had a nice lead in the fourth quarter. But as we all know, Ohio State came back and won. The next week against Michigan State, McSorley threw for a season-high 381 yards and 3 touchdowns, but the game was in a weird weather delay, and then Sparty hit a game-winning field goal and won. McSorley would respond though and finish the regular season at 3-0 and he threw for a total of 776 yards and 7 touchdowns with no interception in the final 3 contests to finish at 10-2. They would play Washington in the Fiesta Bowl and they won the game by one score. Some thought Trace could potentially leave early from the NFL, but he decided to come back for his senior year. McSorley helped the Nittany Lions get off to a 4-0 start and in one game against Penn State, he passed for 2 touchdowns and ran for 3 more. In the next game against Ohio State, they lose by one point, but he did have 286 passing yards and two touchdowns and 25 carries for 175 yards. After a loss to Michigan State the next game, he had 220 passing yards and 107 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns and a win over Indiana. After a victory over Iowa and a loss to Michigan, he helped lead the Nittany Lions to three consecutive wins over Wisconsin, Rutgers, and Maryland to close out the regular season at 9-3. It was kind of a disappointing regular season to some, and they lost to Kentucky in the Citrus Bowl. He passed for 2,530 yards and 18 touchdowns with only 7 interceptions to go at 798 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns his senior year. His senior campaign didn't go exactly how he wanted, but Trace had arguably become the best quarterback in Penn State history and he was likely going to become an NFL player. He still holds the Penn State record for most single season passing yards, most single season total yards, and most single season passing touchdowns. He had a really successful combine as he posted a 4.5740 yard dash and had a good vertical and broad jump, but teams wanted him to become a defensive back, which he politely declined. He was supposed to go undrafted, but he was selected with the 197th overall pick in the 6th round by the Baltimore Ravens. McSorley made his debut in week 17 of the 2019 season against the Steelers, and he had one snap, which went for one yard, giving him one total yard in the season. He will likely never get a chance in the NFL, but this year McSorley has become famous for something else, and that is unfortunately TikTok. McSorley is the focus of a new viral song called Trace McSorley, which was written by a 2019 Penn State alum. The song has been in thousands of videos, and even the official NFL account has used it. He has blown up on the platform, and is arguably the biggest NFL TikToker there is. He probably would rather be known for football, but good for him to be in that kind of position, and he likely makes a nice check doing that. Overall, I really love Trace McSorley at Penn State, and he was just a different breed. The guy wanted to win and constantly proved everyone wrong, and he will go down as one of the best quarterbacks in both Penn State and Big Ten history. What do you guys think? If you're a Penn State fan, let me know what you think of Trace McSorley. If you're a Ravens fan, let me know what you think of Trace McSorley, and give me another story I should do next. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like, drop a comment, suggest a future topic, share this video with your friends, subscribe, and check out all my other videos, including another one I did on a former Penn State quarterback, Christian Hackenberg. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.